These are all the AR-15 red dot sights we have used in more than three years. It all boils down to one thing, an optic that can hold zero no matter what happens to it and not die. This video will show our best recommendations and a quick guide to set up your optic to be as accurate as possible. Here is the thing that 99% of experienced shooters do to their optic, and many new red dot users have never noticed. This process is quite simple, which is to always use a good mount and torque it down on the rifle tight to withstand recoil and other physical impact. This solves all common issues related to zeroing and maintaining accuracy. First on the list is the Holosun 515GM. This is Holosun's best aimpoint microclone for all types of shooting applications. The user can cycle between the 2MOA dot and the 65MOA ring. Generally, the 2MOA dot is the best to provide an uncluttered field of view, especially in low light, so aiming at any smaller target isn't obscured by the dot. The built-in lens cover and kill flash aren't the most important features, but the rugged built quality and the ability to go on any existing aim point micro mounts like the ScalarWorks Leap Mount makes it an excellent choice for AR-15 and other long guns. Next on the list is the EOTech EXPS-3. This is a field-proven holographic sight that provides the shooter the best passive aiming experience featuring a big viewing window with protective lens hood to divert drop impact from the main glass, and it has the built-in lower third optic height. The quick detach lever can go on any Picatinny top rail, and it has the option to tighten the lever to hold zero even after accidental drop. For aiming, the 68 MOA ring assists the shooter for ranging target distance with known target size, and the center dot serves as the precise aiming point. In low light, increasing the reticle brightness doesn't create much emitter glare that fill up the field of view like this, so the sight picture remains uncluttered when using a weapon light. One thing that will drive people away from this optic is its $800 price tag, but this is the best holographic sight on the market, and there aren't as many like it besides the Vortex UH-1 Gen 2. While buying an expensive optic won't instantly improve shooting skills, consistent training and fundamentals certainly will, with dry firing being a key technique. If you haven't seen this before, the Mantis Blackbeard is an auto-reset training tool that fits into any AR-15 upper enabling realistic trigger feedback for dry firing practice. There's no need to pull the charging handle between shots. With this, you can truly train trigger pull and trigger reset and practice your splits while aiming through your optic. This not only saves thousands on ammunition costs, but also allows for convenient and effective practice from the comfort of your home. Check the link in the description to try it out. Next is the Holosun AEMs. For anyone looking for a compact size red dot sight with EOTech alike field of view for just under $400, the top tier Holosun AEMS is a great option for those looking for a durable 7075 grade aluminum body and full weatherproofed rifle optic with a long battery life. Users can also get the cheaper version for the same optic with the 6061 aluminum named the AEMS Core. The factory optic mount is disposable, and at the time of making this video, there are various high-precision aftermarket optic height mounts already available from popular brands like ScalarWorks and Reptilia to configure the optic the way you want. Sig Sauer Romeo 5 For budget users, but still want a good enough optic for range use, the field of view is exactly the same as an Aimpoint Micro, but in a 6061T6 aluminum body, and on the max brightness setting, the 2MOA dot is visible under a bright, sunny day. The Romeo 5 can go on most aftermarket aimpoint micro-optic mounts including 193 height mount and the Unity Tactical Fast mount. Just under $160, you can make this optic work just as good by pairing it with some good accessories. For new AR-15 users, this is one of the best options to try before moving on to something more expensive in the future. In the last three years, the Romeo 5 has been one of our favorite budget sites and it's still running today, using the same battery provided from the original packaging. Trigicon SRO, the SRO provides any LPVO shooter the largest viewing window for an offset optic. For fast optic transition, just tilt the rifle 45 degrees on an offset RMR mount. Once it's zeroed on a properly installed offset mount like this, 
the battery can be accessed from the top instead of the bottom. This means no optic removal or re-zeroing. However, this is an open emitter optic which can attract dust and rain droplets. For a full weatherproof offset red dot, check out this one. There are many Acro footprint red dots on the market today. It's fully enclosed and it clamps onto a mounting plate instead of being bolted down by screws. While the Aimpoint Acro has the smallest viewing window as a full-size optic, it can be very accurate as long as the dot aligns with the bore at a cant angle. While the Aimpoint brand ACRO costs a fortune, the CH Precision Duty ACRO offers the exact mounting footprint and it's much more affordable for people who are just getting into enclosed emitter red dots before they fully commit to it. The last on the list is the loved and also hated Aimpoint Micro. We can't finish the list without including this one. Aimpoint Micro still sets the benchmark for the rest of the industry. Based on today's economy and high demand for red dot sites that are durable and retain zero. In today's inflated economy, coupled with the soaring availability of modern red dot sites, this high price point makes it less accessible for many newcomers, especially those who intend to use it for casual plinking or standard range activities. These are our top AR-15 red dot site selections. While proper optic mounting is important, it's only a small part of building your shooting skill tree. Check out this video on how to pick reticle sizes when dealing with astigmatism.